Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here, back once again with some more Overwatch news. Today I want to talk about some uh, recent glitches that have been popping up, ruining the matches for certain players, and the Overwatch League. Finally, we're getting some more details on their upcoming grand esports experiment. First up, let's talk about some of these uh, glitches happening. You know, bugs and glitches aren't something that will ever fully go away. As new maps come out, new heroes, and just as time goes on and people have more time to find more things, we're going to continue to to see things pop up and I try not to focus too much on it although I'll be the first to admit that I've done a few videos on bugs and glitches but I wanted to talk about this today because I've seen this popping up a lot recently and we're talking specifically about out of map glitches that people are using to get behind walls or behind objects and ruin the match for people while uh, being basically unkillable with the exception of certain area of effect alts something like a Hanzo ultimate so just today I saw two videos one of one of this happened happening on Lijiang Tower and another one of it happening on Gibraltar. I also within the past 24 hours saw a screenshot of Tracer hiding in some stairs on Hanamura. So for whatever reason this appears to be happening uh, quite frequently recently. It seems to be taking place a lot and basically what is happening most of the time is that these people are using an out of map glitch to get beyond the geometry of the typical play zone of a regular map. There are certain kind of holes in the geometry of the map that people can abuse to get behind the map and then do things like go into spawn and swap heroes to someone like a Pharah or a Tracer. And a lot of times people will be using Sombra, anything that has movement or relocation abilities. And a popular one is Sombra's Translocator. And again, we'll use that to get behind the typical geometry of the, of the play area, maybe even in the spawn area, swap heroes and then move to another part of the map. At that point, they're able to a lot of times shoot from behind walls or behind objects killing people while being again almost unkillable with the exception of certain abilities or certain ultimates this kind of stuff as I mentioned at the top it's never gonna really stop happening especially with the introduction of new maps and as time goes on it's worth noting because again for whatever reason recently it's been happening a lot and we need to make people aware that if this happens please 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 report this is in almost I would say 99.9% .9 of cases is exploiting you don't stumble into this you don't accidentally end up behind the geometry and then at a wall where you can shoot the opposing team in many cases in most cases it's something they've done on purpose they're trying to get an unfair advantage and you need to report them so that Blizzard can deal with it now obviously those of you out there playing on the console there's no in-game reporting system but you do have console wide reporting systems on the PlayStation and the, on, on the Xbox as far as I'm aware so make use of those take advantage of those report them in any method that you can you can also report to blizzard officially from their site uh, there's a reporting function on the blizzard website i'll give you guys a link to that in the description below but yeah this has been happening a lot it's kind of a pain in the ass uh, we just have to deal with it and report it when we see it uh, now next up i want to talk about something that's actually happened last week but i never ended up discussing it in any videos and that was the first kind of big announcement from the overwatch league basically they announced their first 17 Boston, New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Miami, Orlando, Shanghai, and Seoul. Now, there are going to be more teams worldwide that will be announced in the future. Obviously, with this announcement, you'll notice a distinct lack of uh, Europe or many other parts of the world. So more teams will be coming and introduced to the Overwatch League. These were just the first seven that they announced. If I were to make a guess, I would say these are the first seven they announced because these were the first seven to be absolutely 100% confirmed to pay their dues, if you will. You had to pay to buy in to purchase a team. I, I, I believe the buy-in for Los Angeles was something like $20 million. So it's not like they're paying like, hey, can, guys, give us $1,000 and you can register your own Overwatch team. No, it's a sizable chunk of money and that money will go towards player salaries, paying for insurance, paying for any infrastructure, their housing, all of this stuff for some duration of time. So first seven teams are announced. It's a pretty cool thing. You know, I am kind of cautiously looking forward to the Overwatch League. Overwatch, I've said this time and time again as much as I love the game and I play it and enjoy it as a casual fun experience it's ever been a game that I thought was terribly fun to watch and the competitive aspect there's a lot of games that I enjoy watching the professional scene uh, Dota Counter-Strike Go even League of Legends and these are games that I don't even play but I think they're good and fun to watch Hearthstone's another game that I think is really fun to watch but for uh, many different reasons and we don't need to go into all of them here I've always felt like Overwatch was kind of a subpar viewing experience 
chance. I think part of it's due to the spectator mode, part of it's due just to the general gameplay and the six versus six nature with all these crazy abilities and ultimates and teams flying into each other. It makes it hard, even from someone who's played hundreds and hundreds of hours, to really follow the flow and the pace of battle. And I think many of that is going to come down to how Blizzard presents it and how the spectators in these official tournaments end up showing the gameplay and trying to get people to follow. But I'm still really looking forward to it. I think that if anyone can figure this out, hopefully it's going to be Blizzard. They're obviously putting a lot of care and money into this. They're starting up this huge league with professional regional based teams. And I think that'll be kind of cool. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for me here today. As always, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hope you have a good one. And until next time, I'll see you later.